Hi guys, Rex here and welcome to my guide for the hand crossbow. The hand crossbow has quickly become my favorite sidearm in Hunt Showdown as the amount of utility it brings is unmatched by any other weapon in the game. I am of course talking about the poison and choke bolts, which if you've been watching my streams lately, you've probably noticed I run all the time. The hand crossbow is highly relevant for both PvE and PvP. I'll start off by covering the mechanics and areas of use for both bolts before I show you a few gameplay scenarios where I feel like the hand crossbow came in clutch and made a significant impact on the outcome. Let's dive into it. The hand crossbow is by far the most powerful weapon when it comes to controlling the environment in Hunt Showdown. It takes up a single weapon slot and has two special ammo slots, meaning you can run a mix of ammo types. When it comes to PvE, the poison and choke balls stand out in their usefulness. The poison clouds are equally useful for PvE and PvP, while choke clouds mainly excel in PvP scenarios. Poison bolts for PvE. Poison bolts create a poison cloud where they land, which deals damage over time to anyone or anything within this area. This effect is very strong for PvE as it will one-shot armors, Constantine armors, and emulators if you hit them directly. The cloud will also immediately kill any grunt that walks into it, which can be extremely useful when you're getting chased by multiple grunts but want to keep your focus forward, as you can leave a cloud on the floor below you and keep moving in a straight line. Any grunt following you will walk into the cloud and die. The poison clouds have another extremely useful purpose. They will kill ducks and crows on impact, which is a great way to clear a path when you're moving around in the bayou. This opens up new possibilities for moving quietly without startling any AI, which would compromise your position by letting other players know where you are. Since sound cues are such an important part of Hunt Showdown, this utility is invaluable. Another amazing utility of the hand crossbow's poison bolts for PvE is the effectiveness against bosses. With the exception of the spider, the poison bolts will deal a significant amount of damage to all bosses, which in turn will make your life a lot easier. This effect is probably particularly useful if you're a solo player, as boss killing can be both time consuming and dangerous when you're on your own. I should probably mention that it's highly recommended to run an antidote shot while you're playing this weapon, as it will allow you to move through the poison clouds unharmed. On a final note, the poison clouds created by the poison bolts will protect you from packs of hellhounds if you run an antidote shot. When you're standing inside of the poison clouds, hellhounds cannot harm you and will keep trying to reach you until they eventually die. This can for example be extremely useful in situations where you find yourself aggroing a group of them whilst you're low on stamina. Poison bolts for PvP When it comes to combat situations, the poison bolts have multiple purposes. They deal significant damage to players and impact, which means they can be used to block doors, windows, ladders, gates, you name it. When you're running an antidote shot, you're free to move around through the clouds, which very often won't be the case for your opponents. This means you control the battlefield and they have to play by your rules. I often use poison clouds to block off as many entry points as possible when I suspect the team might be pushing me. The usefulness of poison balls doesn't end there, however. Once you have killed a player, placing a poison cloud over their body will prevent them from getting revived if they don't have an active antidote shot. This is both a great way to prevent direct revives by teammates, as well as revives using the Necromancer trait. It would also prevent solo players from self-reviving if they're running the Necromancer trait. A very useful feature that you may not know about is that poison clouds will penetrate walls and floors. This has a significant impact on PvP situations where players are hiding behind cover, such as a fence or a wall, inside of a tower, or even on the floor above you. Once you realize this potential, you can get the finishing blow on players in situations where you normally wouldn't have the means to reach them. As a bow player, I find this extremely useful because arrows won't penetrate any fence or wall, but will oftentimes bring players' health down enough for a poison ball to kill them almost immediately. Choke bolts for PvE The choke bolts have become a clear favorite in my arsenal. These bolts will create a choke cloud on impact similar to that of a choke bomb. However, it travels much further and will explode on impact rather than having a set fuse time. I now run these alongside poison bolts for maximum utility. The PvE aspect of the choke bolt is fairly limited, but it's worth noting that you can one-shot emulators with these bolts similar to poison bolts. The other main area of use for PvE would be removing fire from your path when needed. Choke bolts for PvP While choke bolts have some uses for PvE, they are by far more useful for PvP situations. Similar to poison clouds, the choke clouds will penetrate surfaces and in turn affect targets within its area. The effect of choke bolts is similar to that of the choke bombs in the game. The affected player will start coughing, which can be heard from a distance and will give you valuable information. I use this all the time to locate players when I'm pushing as it gives me the upper hand. Since I can hear them choking, I know where they are and if they are moving. This makes it virtually impossible for them to hide their precision and increases the likelihood that I will win the fight. If you are suspecting a player might be hiding behind cover, try landing a choke ball on said cover to flush them out. You'll often find that the player gets caught in the cloud and will start choking, which is a great way to initiate a fight. Another significant impact of the choke cloud is the aim punch effect. A choking player will have their aim impaired, which makes it much harder to land accurate shots. Effectively, this makes it more likely you'll win a standoff when you're peeking or pushing. 
Keep in mind that the aim punch effect has more of an impact the further you are from your target, as they will have a harder time landing accurate shots. The choke clouds can be useful for zoning as well, similar to poison clouds. You can block entry points as you see fit, and players will be less likely to push through them knowing about the effects I previously mentioned. Keep in mind that you will be affected by the choke clouds in the same way as everyone else, so think carefully about how you use these bolts for zoning. If a dead hunter is burning, you can use choke balls to extinguish the fire if you want to loot them. You can also place choke clouds over dead hunters in order to get audio cues if they're getting revived, or on your teammates to prevent them from getting burned while the cloud is active. A final pro tip is to use choke clouds on yourself to immediately extinguish fire if you're burning and you don't have the time to stop it manually. This saves you valuable time if you're getting pushed, as manually stopping the fire would normally take a few seconds. Additional ammo types. Chaos bolts. I actually never run these, as their utility is very limited compared to the poison and choke bolts. Just realize that they exist and can be used to create distractions in the bayou similar to chaos bombs. Fire bolts. As of patch 1.13, fire bolts will be introduced to the game. Although there isn't too much information available right now, the trailer for the event Tide of Shadows, which was released a few days ago, showcases the hand crossbow being used to burn dead hunters on the ground. While it's still early to speculate on how useful this will be, I think we can safely assume it's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities and further secure the hand crossbow's position as the king of utility in Hunt Showdown. Now that we've covered the mechanics and utility of the hand crossbow, let's dive into some PvP scenarios where the weapon came in clutch and helped me win the fights. Enjoy the gameplay footage, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, of course there's a hive up there, why wouldn't there be? We like, land some shots from here, that'd be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick, dude, not gonna lie. Oh, hit him. Hit him as well. He's dead. Holy shit, this is like an airstrike right now. What the fuck? I'm a bow sniper, dude. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. I probably shouldn't be up here as much. Might be time to get a little closer. Hit him. It's choking. Oh, they're all up again. There we go. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Thank you. Perfect. See, now we're talking, bro. How are there so many still? How the hell is everybody still alive? I don't get it. I'm posting this guy. You're running uh, antidotes, my friend? No, you're not. You're dead. No, you're not. You're dead. Holy hell, dude. I mean, he didn't have anywhere to go either, to be fair. Wait, this is two different teams actually right now. What the fuck? We're operating with multiple teams right here. Interesting. We got people on both sides. Later. I gotta reload. Dude, I love this so much. What the fuck? There's two more. Self reviver. I want pushing in. Two arrows. No dream. This is getting scary right now. Unless there's Necro, actually. That might be Necro. That might be Necro. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's here. Let me do this then. That day, thank you for the follow.
Later. All right, that should be all. I'm gonna choke bolt in there. I guess they're trying to get this guy up. I'm probably gonna push closer, actually. Oh, parkour. Where are they? I feel like they're gonna try and get this guy, right? Mounted. Choking. GG. Uh, we have another team though. But we got one team. Uh, oh, I'm being shot from behind. Oh, hello there. Dude, take another shot at me. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Holy shit, man. Oh, that was a bit of a headshot, dude. That was a bit of a headshot. I'm just gonna walk away. Cool, cool guys don't look at explosions. Jesus. I don't even care if it's gonna get up from that. That's, that was a statement, not a fight. <laughs> that was a shot and a half. I'm landing these shots lately. I am landing some shots lately. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. He got me. It's everything or nothing here. There we go. Oh, got him through the Constantina. I think there's one more. That's two. There's one more. Somewhere. Question is where? I'm pretty sure there's one more. Would be ideal to burn him, but... I can move at least. I mean, I could I could be wrong, but I felt like I heard another one. And we're in trio, so it wouldn't wouldn't be uh, unlikely at all. Get the bounty here a second. It's upstairs. I mean, I guess we'll see if he takes that. Or I can get it, maybe. Oh, here we go. I hear him. He's down there somewhere. I'm gonna go quickly grab this so I can scan. It's like right below. Push me in the bad spot. Okay. I think they're all up though. One down there. Later. Right in the knee. It's like two more back here. Really? I didn't hit him?
Pretty low here though, to be fair. That's all. That should be all. If I can kill one, then maybe I'll have a chance there. I see them. I see one there. Please die. Please die. He died. Nice. Oh god, look at these two rascals over there. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. Oh, oh. Bro. Bro! <laughs> oh, yes, dude. Oh, my God, dude. I saw that barrel. I was like, oh, yes, we're doing this, man. We're doing this thing. Still got to be one more. Okay, he's in there. He's hurting. He's hurting. Wait, he got rest? He got rest. All right, GG. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like to see more content of this type, let me know in the comments below. I stream live on Twitch three to five days per week. If you want to support the channel further, there's a Patreon page and you can find my schedule in the Discord channel. I'll leave all of my links in the description. Thank you so much for watching.